Lake County property owners can now appeal their assessments online using the new SmartFile e-filing portal. Start by going to the Lake County Chief County Assessment Office's website at assessor.lakecountyil.gov and click on the Smart File e-filing portal button below the search bar. This will take you to the login page. If you've been to the site before, log in. If it's your first time on the site, you'll need to create a new user account by clicking on New User. Then enter your email and create a password. You'll then receive an email with a link to activate your account. The link will open an Activate Account webpage. Then click on the Here link. This will take you back to the login page. Then enter your email and password. Now that you're logged in, you will see a list of all the various filing options. Click on the Assessment Appeal form. Then click Begin Filing to start your appeal filing. On the first page, you will need to find your property. Either enter your parcel PIN or owner name or property address. You will only need to use one of these search options. When you click Search, you should see your parcel under the search results at the bottom. Then click Start Filing. After you find your parcel, you will need to agree to our terms and conditions, then click Next. The next page is the application. You will need to enter information about yourself and your property. The items with a red star are required. Next to Owner Appellant, you will see a menu button, and when you click on it, you will see all the owners of the parcel. Choose one for the appeal. Once you do that, the address will automatically be entered. At the bottom, you will see the appearance type. Here you can choose between appearing in person, appearing over the phone, or not appearing at all. Then click Next. The next page is the reason for filing. Choose any or all that apply to your filing. For each of the appeal reasons you checked, the system will require you to provide evidence so be selective. A summary of the reason is listed under each item. For the purposes of this video tutorial, we will check all six reasons. At the bottom, under Requested Value, enter the land and building value you are requesting. For most appeals, this will be entered as market value, but if you are appealing on the basis of equity, it will need to be entered as Assessed Value which is 33.33% of market value. Then click Next. The next page is if you want to add an additional property. You would use this if your property is made up of multiple parcels that are contiguous. If your property is on multiple parcels, you will need to click Add. You will then see a grid appear. Enter the pins of your additional parcels in the pin column. Then fill out the requested land and building assessed value for each additional parcel. If any of the additional parcels are in a different township, on the left, under Townships, there is a drop-down menu where you can select the township that applies. This is not a very common occurrence, and for the purpose of this video, we will not add any additional properties. If you're having trouble with this portion of the appeal, please contact the Chief County Assessment Office. Then the next page is the Appeal Details. You will see all the appeal reasons you chose on the Appeal Reasons page. For this video, we chose all six reasons. You will need to provide evidence for each of the appeal reasons you select. For factual error, you will need to check any property characteristics you believe are inaccurate. Prior to filing an appeal for a factual error, it is recommended that you reach out to your local township assessor's office. Many times, the issue can be resolved with your local township without having to go through the process of filing an appeal with the Board of Review. After checking the box or boxes, you will need to explain the inaccuracy or inaccuracies in the field below. Also, later in the appeal process on the attachments page, you will be able to upload additional supporting documents like photos or any other evidence that you feel is important to support your position. For our video, we will give an example. For recent purchase of property, enter the information about your recent property sale. When you select the menu next to Select Sale Transaction, you will see the most recent sale information. Click the sale 
and then click Select. After you select the sale, the date of transaction and purchase price will automatically appear. Then fill out the rest of the information. For a recent appraisal, if you do not have a copy of the appraisal, check the box indicating that your appraisal is forthcoming. In these instances, please be sure to submit your appraisal using the Supplemental Attachment slash Additional Evidence Smart File filing by the appraisal deadline listed on this page. Even though you can submit the appraisal after the deadline, it is essential that you submit the appeal prior to the township filing deadline. If you have your appraisal at the time of filing, you should upload it to the attachments page. For recent sales comparables and equity of assessment comparables, more information will need to be added on later pages. For matter of law and other, enter your explanation in the field below or upload documents on the attachments page which will be later in the appeal process. Once you are finished with the appeal details, click Next. The next page is Commercial Income. The appeal we are filing is for a residential property, so this section is blank. The next page is Finding Comparables for Recent Sales and Equity of Assessment. On the top, there is a default subject criteria based on your parcel. This will look different based on the characteristics of your dwelling. To include these criteria in your comparable search, select Include on the drop-down box on the right side. If you like to simply use the default criteria, click Find Comparables below. However, you can use Custom slash Additional Search Criteria. You can enter a specific parcel ID, a specific neighborhood, and more. If you do choose to use any of the Custom slash Additional Search Criteria, you'll then need to choose Exclude from that category above. In addition to the custom slash additional search criteria, you can add advanced search criteria and or recent comparable sales. Click show slash hide to drop down these choices and fill out the fields to add these criteria. For recent sales comparable cases, you should enter sale date and price parameters you would like for your search to include. Once you have finished adding search criteria, click Find Comparables. This may take up to 60 seconds. Once the comparables are found, you'll see them under Search Results. To compare, click to highlight the parcel, and then click Add Selected Parcels. You'll then see the parcel moved below to the Parcels Added to Applications section. Should you change your mind, you can remove a parcel by clicking Remove Selected Parcel. The Board of Review has no minimum requirement for comparable properties, but they recommend three for recent sales cases and three to six for equity of assessment cases. Once you've selected the parcels added to application, click Next. The next page will show more detailed information about the comparable parcels. You can still add or remove parcels by clicking Add slash Remove Comparable Properties which will take you to the previous page. If you have additional pins that you would like to add to your appeal, enter the parcel in the box in the top right and click Add Comparable. Once you are done reviewing your comparables, click Next. The next page is where to upload additional documents. There is a description of the type of document you need to upload below each of the appeal reasons. You are only required to upload additional documents for appeal reasons marked with a red star. Attach a document by clicking Select Files. Then navigate your computer and locate your file. Then click on your file and click Open. You will then see your file name appear under the appeal reason. Once you've attached all your necessary documents, click Next. The next page is the final page, which is where you submit your appeal. Type in your name, which is considered a signature, which certifies that the information below is accurate to your knowledge. On this page, you can also print a copy of the appeal for your records. Once you click Submit, you are now finished with your assessment appeal filing. Shortly after you submit your appeal, you should receive an email notification confirming that your appeal has been received. If you do not receive a confirmation email, 
please be sure it is not in your spam folder. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact the Lake County Chief County Assessment Office at assessor at lakecountyil.gov or by phone 847-377-2050.